Hello, Lore Seekers. Let's talk Destiny. This is the first entry in a series about Destiny and its lore. To understand the vast mysteries that Destiny's world presents, you'll have to start with the basics. You need to understand the origins of the world you're presented with. Keep in mind, there are many things about the origins of Destiny's world that deserve their own videos, and we won't be covering them here. Destiny's story begins in the relatively near future, though most of the dates are lost to history. Around our present day, humanity observes a mysterious artifact. A massive, nearly moon-sized white orb, traveling between planets in the solar system and bringing life wherever it goes, terraforming at unimaginable rates. Dumbfounded by the appearance of the anomaly, humanity sends Ares-1 to investigate. Piloted by American astronaut Jacob Hardy and crewed by Chinese and Russian astronauts Chow and Mialova. With the Ares-1 mission, humanity makes first contact with what we now call the Traveler, an arbiter of what we call the Light a metaphysical, near-divine force of good. Thus began our golden age. Great cities were built on Mars and Venus. Mercury became a garden world. Human lifespan tripled. It was a time of miracles. When asked to reflect on the implications of the golden age, a 90-year-old Jacob Hardy had this to say. I am sometimes asked if I felt something die. The end of the era of human self-sufficiency. I don't know how to answer that question. I do know that I was changed. Nobody could experience that kind of wonder and remain unchanged. The decades since have proven that to me. I knew I'd never fly another mission like that. I recognized the need for new love. That's why I threw my fresh cognitive skills in understanding the Traveler. How can one entity so quickly and utterly remake an entire world? Fifty years later, I'm conversant in high mathematics, particularly topological thoughts and the slippery irreality of light. I'm involved in a project to study the Traveler's terraforming actions right now. But I still enjoy the interviews. I like going back to that mission. It makes me unspeakably happy to see how well it all turned out, and it makes me happy to remember I was there. After a few hundred years came the Collapse. The Traveler's eternal enemy, known only as the Darkness, came to the Soul System and suffocated Earth and her outlying planets. Countless lives were lost, and even worse, the Enlightenment of the Golden Age was buried with the people who lived it. The specifics of this Collapse are lost to time, and all we know is what's left in its wake. Hostile alien races littering the soul system, and utter destruction everywhere that life was once found in abundance. Everywhere except for one place. The city. The place where humanity makes its last stand, and forges a home for itself. It is here where the strength of humanity is tested every day, and where the fight rages on to resist the darkness, and take back what belongs to mankind. It is here where your story begins. While the Traveler is defending the city from darkness with its last strength, there is still a need for ground forces, agents of the light, ready to travel anywhere in the solar system to battle the alien or even human threats that are attempting to stamp out the last light of humanity. These agents are known as Guardians. Chosen from the dead by ghosts, small artificial intelligences that embody the Traveler, the Guardians are the proud few, capable of wielding the light as a tool, whether it be a devastating weapon or an impregnable defense. There are three basic types of guardians. First, there are the hunters, who stalk the wilderness beyond the city, harnessing the light to reclaim the secrets of our lost worlds. They're daring scouts and stealthy killers. Experts with knives and precision weapons, hunters blaze their own trails and write their own laws. Notable hunters include Dredgen Yor, one of the finest hunters humanity has ever known, tragically corrupted by his own curiosity, murdering innocent guardians and civilians alike. Next there are Titans, they are warriors, heroic defenders of the light channeling the gifts of the Traveler to wage war in the darkness. Steadfast and sure, Titans face any challenge head-on, as blunt force instruments of the Traveler's will. Notable Titans include Lord Saladin, hero of the Battle of Twilight Gap, who led the city's forces to a hard-won victory over the combined forces of the Fallen Houses. Finally, there are Warlocks, scholars of the light who devote themselves to understanding the Traveler and its power. A warlock's mind is an arsenal of deadly secrets, balanced between godhood and madness. On the battlefield, those secrets can shatter reality itself. Exemplifying the dangers of delving too far into the warlock's forbidden knowledge is Toland the Shattered, a brilliant warlock who went mad in his studies, exiles from the tower. Armed with this knowledge, you should be prepared to take on the more specific subjects of the world of destiny. In the next video, we will cover hostile races who plague the soul system and face our guardians on the field of battle. Stay vigilant, lore seekers. Till next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my first crack at these uh, lore videos. I'm learning the ins and outs of this format, and I need your help to be the very best that I can be at it. 
If you have any suggestions, whether it be general advice on formatting the videos, or uh, suggestions for new Destiny content, or um, lore that you might want to see from other games, um, I'd be more than happy to hear about them in the comments, or in a private message, or however else you want to reach me. I hope you stick around to see more on the channel. Thank you very much.